Zuleik Dobson, though not strictly beautiful, is a devastatingly attractive young woman of the Edwardian era. A true femme fatale, who is a prestidigitator by profession. Formerly a governess, Zuleik, s current occupation. Though, more importantly, perhaps, her enrapturing beauty, has made her something of a small-time celebrity and she manages to gain entrance to the privileged. All-male domain of Oxford University because her grandfather is the warden of Judas College. Based on Merton College, Beerbohm, S. Alma Mater. There, she falls in love for the first time in her life with the Duke of Dorset. A snobbish, emotionally detached student who, frustrated with the lack of control over his feelings when he sees her, is forced to admit that she too is his first love impulsively proposing to her, as she feels that she cannot love anyone unless he is impervious to her charms. However, she rejects all her suitors, doing the same with the astonished Duke. The Duke quickly discovers that Noakes, another Oxford student, also claims to have fallen in love with her, without ever having even interacted with her. Apparently, Men immediately fall in love with her upon seeing her, as the first to have his love reciprocated by her. For however brief a time, the Duke decides that he will commit suicide to symbolize his passion for Zuleik and in hopes that he will raise awareness in her of the terrible power of her bewitching Elio. As she innocently goes on crushing men's affections. Zuleik is able to interrupt the Duke's first suicide attempt from a river boat, but seems to have a romanticized view of men dying for her, and does not oppose the notion of his suicide altogether. The Duke, instead pledging to kill himself the next day, which Zuleik more or less permits, has dinner that night with his social club where the other members also affirm their love for Zuleik. Upon telling them of his plan to die, the others unexpectedly agree also to commit suicide for Zuleik. This idea soon reaches the minds of all Oxford undergraduates, who inevitably fall in love with Zuleik upon first sight. The Duke eventually decides that the only way he can stop all the undergraduates from killing themselves is by not committing suicide himself, hoping they will follow his example. By an ancient tradition, on the eve of the death of a Duke of Dorset, two black owls come and perch on the battlements of Tankerton Hall, the family seat. The owls remain there hooting through the night and at dawn they fly away to an unknown place. After debating whether to follow through with his suicide, while seeming to decide at last to embrace his life as just as valuable as Zuleik's. The Duke receives a telegram from his butler at Tankerton, reporting the portentous return of the owls. The Duke promptly interprets the omen as a sign that the gods have decreed his doom. He proudly tells Zuleik that he will still die, but no longer for her. She agrees as long as he makes it appear that he is dying for her by shouting her name as he jumps into the river. Later the same day, a thunderstorm overwhelms the eight-week boat races while the Duke drowns himself in the river Isis. Wearing the robes of a knight of the garter, every fellow undergraduate, except one, promptly follows suit. All of the Oxford undergraduates now dead, including, with some delay, the cowardly Noakes. Zuleik discusses the ordeal with her grandfather who reveals that he too was enamored by all when he was her age. While Oxford's academic staff barely notice that nearly all of their undergraduates have vanished, Zuleik decides to order a train for the next morning, bound for Cambridge.